dog across the street's been barking. Pete just took Chewy out. The dog wouldn't stop barking, so now Maisie's interested and Pete's letting her stay interested. I would be distracting her totally and get it keeping her mind on what she's supposed to be doing out there. But, um, yeah, I don't let her be distracted. We're different, though. I train her and he just walks her for me, so... There, now he's moving her. Make her circle. Don't let her stand there. Boy. I don't like her fixating on other dogs. Cause she fixates and then if she ever gets out, that's the first place she's going to go. Boy. There we go. Circle her, circle her, circle her. Nope. Somebody coming to the gym. A lot of people have gym memberships. The gym is upstairs. Okay, go, Maisie. Make her go. There we go. There we go. Get her going. Get her good. Good. Get her going. There we go. Go. Good girl. Once she starts spinning, she'll do what she's supposed to do. Oh, keep her off the dog. Keep her mind off the dog. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to tell him don't watch this one because he probably has no idea I sit in here and think those things. <laughs> but I'm not dressed yet. My back is sore from yesterday, though I've had no spasms. I'm about to go get a shower and uh, get dressed because we got to babysit the kids in about an hour. So, All right, see you guys later. Okay. Why are just staring? Yep. This Lou is called... This discernment. Discernment. Uh huh. We are allowed to do all things, yes. But all things are not good for us to do. That's right. Yeah. Can we do another one? Yep. What's the next one? Next one will be again. Go to the next one on the other page. Honor your parents. That sounds like a good one. Mm -hmm. The commandment says, Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment. And, I mean, that has a promise with it. Then everything <laughs> will be well with you. And you will have a long life on earth. Okay. You gonna read it to us? No. Yeah. Oh. Can you hold it up like your teacher does so we can see the pictures? Yeah. What is this page? That is Clifford the big red dog. No, you had to say what page is it. Oh, it's the cover. Page zero. Page zero. First you had to you had to say front page. Oh, front page. Or page zero. Back page. Binding. Oh, binding. Okay. I thought that was the spine. Both are correct. The spine is the part of the book. The this binding is, is how what I makes open the my spine. Book. What is it? Title. Now, Clifford the Big Red Dog is the title page. Now, this is how. How do we read it? Um, if you quit waving it around, I will tell you. Tell. Tell? Yeah. Okay. Turn it so I can see it. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I have a dog. My dog is a red. big red dog. I thought it was a big yellow dog named Maisie. Hello, You're a Maisie. goofball. Okay, you ready? Okay. Oh, there. That's better. Night, night. Other kids I know have dogs, too. Some are big dogs. dogs. Okay. That's the only one we can read I'm ready. Yeah, I do. Hang okay. on. Arm. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I can't do a hundred things at once. I'm lucky I can do two. <laughs> 
today it says read Ephesians 6 10 through 6 17. Okay. Think about Life each point. item of clothing it mentions. Okay. Well, here's what we've got. I foot. All right, it says, finally, this is Ephesians 6, 10. Be strong in the Lord and in his... Lyra, get your foot out of there. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the authorities, and the powers of this dark world, and against the physical forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all of God's people. I heard armor of God and God's sword. The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word. And the shield, I believe. Shield of faith. Shield of faith, yep. The breastplate of righteousness, that's that thing that they wear on their like chest. The vest. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yep. And the belt. Oh, yeah. And the belt around your waist. Yep. Otherwise, your pants fall down. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's pray, guys. Okay. Went to tuck them in. It is 7 10. They're 10 minutes late going to bed. Oops. Um. We were watching videos, and we were playing, and I was reading Clifford Delira, and and Uncle was playing a game with Leland, and so um, time got out of hand. Um, Casey and Bill are at Bill's uh, company's Christmas party, which is at the bowling alley right there by where we're parked. So it's like quarter of a mile from here <laughs> it's very close so um they're out having fun and we're just hanging out because you know what would we be doing if we were home hanging out so another mild day today got in the lower 40 sunny but i didn't go out much today my back is sore um it is not spasming it just feels like i got kicked by a mule so in that one part of my spine that was spasming yesterday. Um, but I'm much better. And I'm able to walk around and, you know, whatever. I did play my keyboard for a while today. And uh, what did we eat? Oh, yeah. Um, I had one ribeye steak left in the freezer. So I had that with some green beans. Pete had um, vegetables. Well, he had two meals because he eats two meals. I don't eat. I, I prefer just one and then a snack in the evening. But he um, he made tomato soup. One of the part of his protocol is a can of tomato paste every day. So he usually uses it to make tomato soup, um, mixes it with his almond milk seasonings and stuff. And then he throws his vegetables or pasta in or whatever he's in the mood for. And then tonight he had a veggie burger with vegetables all over it. And uh, tonight, you know, I didn't have anything, of course, because... And then tonight I didn't have anything because I had eaten earlier and I wasn't hungry. Now I am because I ate. Oh my gosh, Bill gave me a big, you know, those great big fist-sized marshmallows. He covered it in chocolate and froze it. Oh my gosh, was that good? That was really good.
But now that the sugar is worn off, because that was like an hour and a half ago, and now that the sugar is worn off, I'm getting hungry. And that's why I don't eat sugar. <laughs> so I'll find something out there. I see they have bread. I can make some toast or some carbs. I don't know. Sandwich. I don't know. So anyway, that's the day. wasn't very wasn't very, um, whatever the word is. So, I will see you guys tomorrow on Thursday. I don't know what tomorrow holds. So, uh, I guess that's it. So have a great Thursday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and good night.